Let us begin on our backs. Have a great class, everyone. Thank you so much for turning up. Give the old limbs a wee shake. Ooh, how are they feeling this morning? Fingertips reaching up overhead, toe tips reaching long towards the front of your mat. You can give your knees a little squeeze in towards the chest, rocking from side to side, checking out how the lower back feels this morning, outer hips. Maybe a little circular motion to tune in. And when you are ready, we'll begin with our bridges. So starting with the feet parallel to one another, hips distance apart. Just maybe find that secure footing distance to your glutes. And we'll start out at a very nice, easy pace, lifting and hovering. So squeezing at the top and lowering just a few centimeters off the mat. Again, I always encourage a little good music in the background. Since I'm recording, I really can't play it and then upload it. So I'm hoping that you guys have got some good playlists going. Let's lift and hover, squeeze and lower. So the idea is the tailbone lengthens as you lift and the core helps control that lift and lower as well as your strong glutes, strong quads. Looks awesome, everyone. Good morning. Lift and hover. Squeeze and lower. Pressing into the mat with your feet to get that nice arc and lift through the hips. And we'll take these for five, four, three, two, one. Adjust your feet so you can just lift your heels up and down. So you may need to move your feet a little closer towards your torso to keep that nice high lift through the hips as you just move those heels up and down. Squeezing your glutes the whole time though. So keeping even more switched on in our range of motion that's a little narrower and lift and lower. But feeling that lengthening of the tailbone, that engagement of the core through your strong exhale at the top range of your motion. That's a damn lift and lower, squeeze, squeeze. Looks great, everyone. Good morning, you got it, Sav. So stormy in the background there. Lift and lower. Can you lift those hips a little higher as you come high onto your tippy toes? Can you keep that engagement as you lower the heels? Five, four, three, two, one, stay lifted on those tippy toes. You know it, maybe walk those heels, uh, toes in a little closer and pulse it out from here. So this is where we quicken the pace. So you really feel everything firing as you pulse, pulse, pulse. That's it, Georgia, looks great. Keep going, keep going. Nice work, Monique, you got it. You should start to feel some burning. That's what we're going for, lengthening the tailbone. Staying nice and lifted through those hips. Pulse, 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 pull, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Strong through the legs. Nice lift up through the hips. And we'll take these for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower it down, hug those knees in towards the chest. Rocking from side to side. Boy, those do get your attention early in the morning, don't they? Ooh, we'll take our feet now wide, turning the toes out. So the heels are just beyond the distance of your hips. And let us begin with our slow start in this wide-legged variation. So same principle of grounding down through the feet to get that high lift through the hips and that slow descent of the hips as you hover off your mat. That's it. Good work, Phil. Nice work, Nicole. Lifting and lowering, squeeze and hover. And you find the length through the tailbone here so you are not dumping into your lower back. Your strong core is supporting you. And you're focusing on your breathing as you exhale to lift. That's it, nice work, Johnny. Keep going, lifting and hovering. Squeeze and lower. Getting those glute needs working getting those adductors 
engaged. Nice and slow to feel each part of the back body in this wide legged shape. We'll take these for five, four, three, two, one. Instead of going just heels up and down, we're going to toss it back and forth this morning. So as if you're taking your wide legged bridge for a walk. So one heel lifts, the other lowers, and you'll feel this sashaying through the hips as you go from side to side with your heel lifts. So alternating heel lifts, but it's kind of sneaky because you're staying super lifted through one leg while the other one drops. And you may start to feel a little something special through those glutes in this alternating shape. Keep going though. I want you to feel the belly engaged even as you take your bridge for a walk. Keep going one heel, then the other. And we'll take this last little bit for five, four, three, two, one. Both heels are lifted now, and here's our pulsing. We'd love to get this little blast here, guys. Just a reminder that everything needs to fire. Maybe give yourself that little tap. Are they honestly engaged? Or are you kind of spacing out thinking about your day? Can you squeeze even more? That's it, Richard Reed. You've got it, Kate. Keep going. Pulse it on up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Ooh, yeah. Tailbone lengthening, softening through the face, even though you want to grit those teeth. Yeah. We got this last blast here, lifting high on those tippy toes. Maybe you need to bring the feet a little closer so you get more lift through the hips. That's awesome, Monique. Let's keep going. That's it, Sally. Nice work for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, lower down, hug those knees in towards the chest, rocking from side to side. One more little blast through our bridges, and that's our butterfly legs, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees winging out. And we'll begin with that slow lift and hover. Squeeze and lower. So finding what needs to switch on through this shape of the legs. As you take it slowly, finding your breath, finding that lengthening. Yeah, that looks great, you guys. Keep going, lifting and hovering, squeeze and lowering. Nice work in the Zoom, everyone. Looks great out there in the core mandal this morning. Lifting and hovering, squeeze and lower. Can you feel your adductors engaged to help with the lift? Great work, everyone. We'll take these for a final five. Four, three, two, one. You know it. Stay as lifted as you can. I know it's hard in this shape. And pulse it out from here. So really reaching those hips up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. If you're outside, lucky enough to be outside. Keep going, keep going. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Little narrow band of movement. That's all we're getting in this shape. But it is certainly effective as you switch on everything. Finding muscles you might not have known that exist in this shape. Keep going. Pulse it on up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh yeah. Great work, everyone. Last little blast and soon we're, we're almost finished with our bridges. And then we can say goodbye to them for today. And we'll pulse these out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, lower it down, hug those knees in towards the chest. Fantastic work, you guys. Oh, maybe walking those legs up. We'll find our way onto our right side forearm, setting up for our forearm plank. And today, if you wanted to do the challenge, Sav, this is, this is what you do every day. So knee to elbow, I know you love it. It's a fan favorite of yours. Here we go, we're on for 30 seconds. So left foot stacking in front of the right, press into your right forearm so you can get that lift up out of that shoulder girdle. Yeah, nice lift through the hips. I love it, Georgia, so good. Keep going, guys. And you find those heels 
hips and shoulders all in a line. You're not having a major bend through the body. Feels really good. Pressing into the feet so you can dome those hips even higher. Left arm reaching up. Thank you. Breakfast is here. <laughs> and that's our 30 second work, guys. Elbow to knee, reach it long, and then get that shortening through that left side waist. It definitely taxes that bottom leg. So can you find a little more core strength to lift up? Oh yeah, looks so good, Sab. Thank you for being our pro model. That's it, Nicole. Awesome work. Breathing here. Awesome. Three, two, one, and change. Come on down to our bellies for our back extension work. We will go for 30 seconds. Let's do some penguins this morning. So bending the knees, heels come together, float the thighs up, lift the chest, and then just take yourself for a walk from side to side here. Tapping towards the thighs, maybe you reach the calves, squeezing through the glutes, breathing here in that nice work for those muscles along the spine. That's it, Sarah, nice lift of the chest. Keep going, looks great, everyone. And three, two, one, fantastic. Set up for our forearm plank. You know it, 90 seconds is just kind of the way we roll these days. Prepare yourself, forearms down, we're on the clock. Press the heels away. Those quads, make sure they're firm so it's like you're drawing up those kneecaps. Helps as you press those heels away so you feel everything switching on. And even as you switch on through the belly, press into the floor, lifting out of the shoulders, see if you can soften through your face a little, removing tension through the back jaw. Breath here, very important just to kind of keep that ease through the body. If you need to come to your knees at any point, come to your knees. No biggie, you got it, Kate. Keep going. We are halfway through our 90 seconds, guys. So feel that energy as you ground down through your forearms, pressing those heels back towards the front of your mat, and zipping up your core. Yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. We got this. Last 20 seconds. Breathing here, relaxing through your face. Last 10 seconds. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I, I've got nothing but time. You guys are good. <laughs> Three, two, one, come on down. Excellent work. Oh, yeah. Let's bring on those penguins. Here we go. 30 seconds. Waddle from side to side. That looks great, Dan. Nice lift through the chest. Maybe a little more thigh up off the mat. Keep going. Looks great, Monique. Waddling, waddling. Feel those heels come together. Helps tighten up through the glutes and firming up those erector spinal muscles. Yeah. Nice work, Donald. and change. Let's come on down to our left side forearm now for side plank hold. Right foot stacking it in front of the left. Heels, hips, and shoulders in one line. We send that right arm high. We send those hips high and we're on. Got this. Find that vertical stacking through the shoulders. Not dropping down into that left side shoulder. That's it. Feel nice lift through the hips. Breathing here. Everyone looks great. Nice doming up action through those hips. And let's take our elbow to knee. Right elbow taps left or right knee. <laughs> Dropping down to that left knee if you need to. Find that reach and then that nice little side crunch. Oh yeah, this is a challenge. Again, if you wanted to just do the scoop under, that's definitely an option. Last 15 seconds. You can amplify it. I love it. Got Sav showing us how it's done. Yeah, he's tapping the elbow or the hand to the foot each every other one. Oh, 
All right, enough talking. We're done with that. Thank you, Seth. I love it. All right, we've got some special core work for you today. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'll walk you through it first. So the first one is a full body crunch. Arms are out long, legs are out long, and then you sit up and curl everything in. If you want to come to a hover, that might be more of a challenge rather than lying down in between each one. We have a left and right. First side will be our right side flamingo. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. Left leg straight and crunch up. So it's almost like a figure four, but that left leg is straight. If you wanted to just do a figure four and not have the flamingo leg, you can certainly do that. We'll take it to the right side for our third round and then reverse bikes. So again, reaching out arms and legs long, draw that right knee in towards the chest, give a little stirrup pull, and then reach it long. So you're reversing your bikes, coming out long when you can. So full body crunch, flamingos left and right, reverse bikes, 20 seconds on, off. Are we going? Yep. And we're on. So use your strong exhale, to lift yourself up and send those limbs long back behind you. Yeah, everyone's looking awesome. That's it, Richard, so good. Change. Finding that left leg long, right foot crossing over the top of that left thigh. Here's our flamingo shape. Chest reaches towards the legs as you exhale sharply. A lot harder if you keep that left leg straight. Oh yeah. Nice flamingo legs. That's it, Georgia. You got it. Fantastic, Sarah. Keep going, keep going. Change. Right leg is now the flamingo leg. Left leg crosses over. Top of that right thigh. And here we go. So feel as much of your back body lifting towards your legs as you can. Thanks to your strong exhale. Yeah, nice work, you guys. That's it, Dan. Looks fantastic. Nice and strong this morning. Woo. Change. Finishing up with our reverse bikes. So it's that real reach and then pulling of the knees in towards the chest. You can hover the limbs. And here we go. Oh yeah, staying lifted chin towards chest means more time under tension. Taking these to a pace that makes sense for you. Holy belly, yeah. Looks awesome. That's it, Nicole, keep going. Change. Oh, first round done. Full body, sit up or crunch. Three, two, one, let's go, 20 seconds. Maybe a little faster. This round, you know where you're going. Maybe a little slower. Again, always working at your own pace. That's it, Monique, keep going. Change. All right, here we go. Flamingos, left leg reaches out long, right leg crosses over. Three, two, one, here we go. Crunch it on up. Yeah, breathe, exhaling. Sending that left leg long and then out toward, up towards the ceiling. Yes, so good work. Ooh. Don't get much of a reprieve with the left side, do we? <laughs> right leg's long. Fill up the belly, recover, and crunch it on up. Strong exhale. Ooh. Nice lifting of the chest rather than elbows to legs. Think chest to legs. Change. Huh. Reverse bikes, rounding out set two. Three, two, one, here we go. And you come up enough so you really get that nice Interlace grip beyond your feet. Yeah, let's tap in deep. Good work, everyone. Keep going. 
strong through your belly so you're not taking it in the lower back at all. Change. <clears throat> if you need to modify those and come into regular bikes, do that. That's fine. Here we go. Full body sit up. Three, two, one, and crunch it on up. Again, this workout is for you guys. It's, I'm just along for the ride. Awesome work. Looks great. Awesome, Johnny. You got it. Change. Flamingos, left leg long, right foot on top of left thigh. Gives that extra weight, doesn't it? <laughs> and here we go. It's almost like you're adding that resistance through the lift, tapping into the lower belly even more. That's it, Phil. Looks great. Exhale sharply. Change. Right leg long, left leg crossing over. Three, two, one. Here we go. Crunch it on up. Yeah, it looks great, everyone. Good lifting. You got it, Sarah. Fantastic. Ooh. Holy flamingo. Change. Round three, finishing off with our reverse bikes. Covering limbs, preparing. Three, two, one, and go. Getting that little extra lift as you grab for the foot. Yeah. Woo, yeah. We are reverse biking. Working strongly. You got it. That's it, Richard. Nice. Change, one more round, <laughs> amen. <laughs> Full body crunch to the top. Fill up your belly, let's go. And maybe your music's really good and you're cranking out an extra two or three in. Ooh. Nice sit-ups, everyone. Strong through your belly. So good, Monique, keep going. Change. Flamingo, left leg long, right leg wings out. Crunch it on up, guys. Strong through that left leg, lifted leg. Feel that chest lifting rather than the head being pulled by the hands. That's it. Nice work, Sav. You got it. Change, right leg long, left leg crossing over. Breathing here. We go, 20 seconds of this last little blast of flamingos, guys. Breathe into this, working strongly. Change. All right. Reverse bikes to finish off our ab set. We got this. Fantastic, you guys. So strong. You got it, Dan. Looks great. Really tapping into that lower belly, guys. Protecting the lower back here as you reach limbs away from one another. Holy, holy reverse bikes. Change. Feels like a Friday, right? Good work, everyone. I'm gonna go through our set of four. So I feel like I haven't done this one in a while. Squat curtsies. Let's take a bow for that ab work. So that's our squat work to begin with. Down dog ankle tap press ups. So starting in a downward facing dog, tap opposite hand, opposite ankle, plank. And then there's your press up. You can also, of course, just do straight press ups. Your choice. Our balance work today. Left leg's gonna stay grounded. We step really far back with the right in a low lunge. And then we come on up. Make sure you have the space in front of you and kick. So it's a lunge, 
and you go straight to a kick if you can. So that's our balance work. We'll catch the other side in our second set of four and finishing our, with our cardio blasted mountain climbers. You ready? We're getting our squat curtsies on to start. You got this, guys. All right, Sally, show us how it's done. All right, <laughs> let's get low on our squats and let's take our bows from side to side. So think about the chest staying lifted, knees and toes tracking in the same line, even as you take your bows. You can add weights here if you wanted to amplify. Ooh, yes, nice depth through the squats, everyone. Awesome, Phil and Nicole. Change. Down dog ankle taps for our upper body work. You can meet me in your down dog. You can meet me in a plank. You can start with your press ups. Here we go, 20 seconds. Whichever level you're taking, maybe you drop to your knees in your press ups. Just use your breath. Looks so good. That's a Donald nice work. Again, just to review our balance, it's a low step back with the right leg, and you come up direct and kick forward with the right leg. There we go. If you need to touch that right foot down in between those transitions of a lunge and a kick, then do that. Finding a focal point in front of you and hugging the midline to get that balance. That's it, Richard. Nice. Change. Mountain climbers to get that heart rate up for our first blast of cardio. Meeting a plank. And jog it out, guys. Opposite knee to opposite arm. Tapping into that belly strength. Find your shoulders. Stacking over your wrists and your leg through your toes. Very little impact here, just speedy feet. Yes, now keep going. Change. Back to the top, squat curtsy. Catch your breath here, maybe in your squats. You got this. Take a bow. So cute to me. And looks awesome. I love, I love the flare through the arms. You take that bow, Kate, you deserve it, darling. So good. Woo. Keep going. <laughs> Oh my God, you need pom pom stuff. I think that would amplify everything. Down dog ankle taps. Catch your breath in your down dog. Here we go, tapping off the ankle to plank to press up. Again, take it or leave it. Modify where you need to. That looks great, Dan, good work. Use your breath. Change. Moving on to our balance. It's the right leg that steps back, right leg that kicks forward. Three, two, one, and low, whoa, and find that level change as you kick high. That's it, Nicole. So working that balance by squeezing everything through to your center. Yes, awesome depth, Georgia, so good. Can't see you really, Sally, but I know you're working hard. Change. Mountain climbers, here we go. Let's get our pace on. Three, two, one, and jog it out, guys. Get that blast, keep going. So light on your toes means that you're working your core. Hips are not too high, so you can really drive the knees towards opposite arms. Keep going. Change. Two rounds done, two to go. Squat curtsies to the top. Three, two, one, let's go. You got it, nice feel, nice depth. Fantastic work out there on the deck. Your cook speech looks nice. Breathing here. Keep going, keep going. That's it, Seb. Woo. Also, Sally, good depth in that squat. Change. Catch our breath in our downward facing dog. We'll take it to the ankle tap press ups. In three, two, one, and go. Whew. Again, as 
we may be getting a little fatigued. Make sure you're working sensibly. No time to get injured. You want to keep coming back and doing this over and over, right? <laughs> good work, good work. Change. Balancing with the right leg stepping back and then driving forward to a kick. Nice and low, and then nice and high with the kick. Strong through that left leg. So you really feel that glute need engaged. Working that left leg's balance. Yeah. Awesome. You got it, Nicole. So good. Change. Mountain climbers. Here we go. We're going to set up for our cardio blast. Three, two, one, and go. Crossing under. You got it. Good pace, Georgia. So strong. A little faster, maybe. Cranking it up. That's it, Phil. Good. Change. One more round, guys. Squat curtsies to the top. Three, two, one, and here we go. Take it low. You got it, Monique. Nice step. Nice flare through the arms. You guys are just naturals with this. <laughs> I think everyone's kind of a secret performer taking their little bow here. Awesome work. Woo. Change. Down dog ankle taps. Catch your breath in your down dog. Three, two, one, and let's go. Maybe your pace quickens, you know, it's the last one. Maybe you're easing off. Keep going, I'm gonna try not to get stuck in my push-up <laughs> when the timer goes off. Almost. Good work. Balance work here. Taking that right foot nice and low. Here we go. And then that right leg gets that nice lifted kick. That's it, Georgia. Keep going. Yes, Kate. Oh, yeah. Catching your breath. Stabilizing through that left leg. Change. Finishing out our first set, guys, with our last blast through mountain climbers. And bring it. Find that fiery pace here, guys. Find that true crossing under. Tapping into that oblique belly work here. Yeah. That's it, Donald. Looks fantastic. Yes, Sab. Keep going, Richard. Nice, Kate. That first round is done. Okay. I forgot I wanted to do these. I haven't done these in a while either. These are our squat walks. Oh yeah. So you start at one end of the mat and then you come into your squat and you walk up and down the length of your mat in a squat. And then you take it backwards. Oh yeah, that's really something special. So we'll do those. And then we're gonna be doing for our plank press-ups. We're in a plank. We jump the feet out like a jack, jack and then bring them back in press up. So you have to stay super engaged through your belly as you pop the feet out in and press up. Those are called press up jacks. Then we'll catch the balance on the right side with the left leg stepping back and kicking and then wide legged burpees, not jumping at the top for our cardio blast. So start at one end of your mat, get low in your squat and you're taking your squat for a walk. Baby steps, big steps, doesn't matter as long as you stay low through the hips. Oh yeah. And lifted through the chest. That's it, you guys. Can you feel the tailbone lengthening here? Strength, thanks to your strong bellies. Change. Those are fun, right? All right, plank jack press-ups. Maybe you just do the plank jacks, you decide. There we go. So try and again, stay connected to your center so your spine isn't 
acting like a huge shock wave and you're reverberating through your whole body. Yes, that's it, Sally. Keep going. Change. Just did those. Okay. Right leg's grounding, left leg stepping back, left leg kicks. Here we go. So adjusting to this leg now, finding the balance work with focusing your gaze, finding your breath, and squeezing everything to the midline. Nice transitions, you guys. I love it. Change. Wide legged burpees for our cardio blast. Jump it back, jump it wide, squeeze to stand. Here we go. Squeeze into those legs. You got it. Nice, fantastic work, Donald. That's it, Sarah. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Nice light toes. Change. Back to the top. Squat walks from one end of your mat to the other, staying low. And here we go, backwards and forwards. As many or as few steps as makes sense for you. Yes, nice lift of the chest. That's awesome, Nicole. Keep going. You got it, Kate. Change. Plank jack press ups or maybe just straight press-ups, or maybe just planks. <laughs> Here we go. Strong again through the belly, through the legs. So there is no sort of wave through your torso. Nice, strong. That's it, Sally, keep going. You got it, Dan. Change. Breathing here. So left leg stepping back, left leg kicks. And let's go, 20 seconds. Finding that level change, maybe catching your breath. Maybe you're adding weights here because you have a set of weights you wanna work the upper body. Whoa. Change, wide-legged burpees round two. I feel like there's someone missing here. Maybe she's getting a sleep in. Oh, there she is. Yes. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> Thank you. You just made my day, darling. All right, hopping it back, hopping it forward, and squeezing the top into the top. Good work, you guys. Nice light landings. Change. Two to go. We're taking it to our squat walks. Catch your breath as you squat low. And keeping that on a step. Yes, that's it, Georgia. Nice lift through the chest. That's it, Sav. Holy hips, holy quads. Keep going. That's it, Monique. Awesome. Change. Plank jack press ups. Catch your breath and your plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Use your breath here to stay connected to your center. Yeah, so strong. That's awesome, Donald. You got it. Kate, nice work, we should keep going. Good work. Balancing out. Right leg supporting, left leg does the moving. And let's take it back to our low lunge and kick. Yes, feel good balance. Can you feel that whole right side glute lead switching on to help through that transition to your kick? Yeah, that's awesome, Sally, you got it. Change. Awesome work, Jesse. Even in that balance work. So good, girl. Wide legged burpees to finish out round three. And can you find a little pop of the hips over the wrists? 
that your belly's working so strongly and it lets you land softly. Fantastic pace, you guys. You got it, Dan. Whew. Fantastic. One more round. Let's take our squats for their last little walk. Forward and back. As you stay low in those legs. Tailbone driving down long, supported through your strong belly. Oh yeah. Awesome, you guys. So good. Nice, Johnny. Change. What was that? Oh, plank jacks. Here we go. Catch our breath in our planks. Three, two, one, and let's go. Maybe you get an extra one in. This is our last round. Maybe you feel like you have a little more energy to spare. That's it, Kate. Awesome. Change. Got it. Balance work. Left leg drives back, left leg kicks. Yeah, you could add the weights and do a little bicep curl, maybe a little tricep kick back. Lots of things to make this as hard as you like. But hopefully sustainable. We got this. Change. Here it is. Everyone's chance to shine, but especially Jessie because she's after it right now. Let's go. Why like your burpees, guys? Let's bring on that weekend. Yeah. Woo -hoo. So good. You go, Mooney. You go, Phil. Keep going. Awesome work, Sad. Nice, Georgia. Go, Johnny. That's it, Sally. Team Reed, so strong representing. Go, Dan. Jane. Stopping the recording. You guys are awesome.